hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to build a video audio and screen recorder inside react.js application in the browser so you are seeing the free demo out there so there are two buttons out there which is start recording and stop recording so if i click the start recording button so now you will see it will record all the things that i am speaking right now so you will see automatically it has capturing my device here you will see it is using your camera and now if i click the stop recording button all the things that i am speaking right now so you will see automatically it has capturing my device here you will see it is using your camera and now if i click the stop recording button all the so now you will see it has automatically captured the 11 seconds that i have spoken right now this is my video and if i want to download it simply i will click this download button and it will download it as a mp4 file on my local disk if i play this all file the things that i am speaking right now so you will so you have seen that it is very simple and in the similar way you can also capture your audio also so inside this application instead of video i can pass audio so now you will see if i refresh the application what you will find now if i click start recording it will capture only my microphone which is audio and whatever i am speaking it will be capturing in the audio file now if i click stop recording recording it will capture only my microphone which is audio and so you can see this is the audio file it has captured so whatever i am speaking it will be capturing in the audio file now if i so if i want to download it simply i will need to click these three dots click download and this is your wav file is ready you can play inside recording. your computer it will capture only my microphone which is and thirdly if you want to record your screen you will pass a screen option here screen to true so now basically if you refresh it and if you just click start recording and now this pop-up window will appear it will ask for which screen you want to just uh, record so there are various chrome tabs out there if you want to capture entire screen you will select share and now it is stop you can see it is start sharing your screen here and uh, now if you go to any tab here it will record your screen sharing here if you click stop here now you will see and uh, now if you go to any tab here it will record your screen sharing here if you click stop so if you want to download it simply click the three dots here like this up here and now it is stop you can see it is start sharing your screen here so click the download and it will download as a wave file you will see and uh, so this is the application guys that we will be building here so the library is pretty simple which is uh, if you go to npmjs.com the library name is react media Re recorder this is a library which lets you record uh, audio video and also your screen as well it makes use of media recorder api which uh, is the logic behind this application you have known this media recorder api which is a browser api which allows you to record the video audio and screen so just invoke this command here npm i Re react media recorder if you want the full source code you can go to the video description link i have written a complete blog post step by step so to download all the source code so just make a first of all your react.js project by invoking the command uh, npx create react app followed by your react app name after that you need to install this library react media recorder after executing this command installing it i will show you how to do this so inside your app.js i will delete all the code here so you will see currently my app is empty right now you will see nothing is there so first of all what we need to do is that we need to make our functional component and inside this we will have a simple div which will say hello world 
and lastly we need to export this hello world export default app and then we need to import our library which is react media recorder and this we can react media recorder so this is a library you will see so after importing this library what we can do is that inside this uh, return statement instead of div we can write here react media recorder and here you can pass some options first you can pass video in order to record a video in order to record audio you can pass audio or screen so these are the three options that you can pass first I will show you for video and then there is a render option and inside this there is some options that you can pass which is status start recording start recording is a function which lets you start the recording and again this contains a stop recording function also and media blob URL which is the actual URL which is ready the preview of the recording after that guys inside this we will have a div <coughs> let me close that <coughs> after that you will have this arrow let me see the syntax here if you see that syntax let me refresh it you will see the syntax hmm. so yes this after that there is some comma out there I think this is the comma we need to write here like this mm. yes so here inside this guys we will have a div which will hold inside the paragraph we will hold the status we will print out the status and then we will have two buttons which will actually start the recording and we will bind it on click which is actual function here start recording so if you refresh it you will see a start recording button if I click this my video will be started here it is saying recording so we also want a stop recording button to stop the recording so stop recording and again we will bind a on click which is stop recording so now you will see this will be a stop recording button also which is there so now we also need to show the preview inside the video once we hit that stop recording button so inside this video the source will be equal to this media blob URL and the video should auto play and it should loop and the controls should also be there so these three properties just attach it and now you will see this media player if I click start recording if I click stop now you will see your video is ready if I once again refresh So you will see so this is a way by which you can do that you can also change here <coughs> audio now it will only record the audio for you so if you refresh it so now you can see it is recording only the audio here this page is accessing your microphone so if I click stop so now you can see it is recording only the audio and here we can change the screen like this
it will now only record the screen so you will see so in this way guys you can make a web rtc audio video and screen recorder in react js application using react media recorder and the nice thing about is that you can even use hooks here as well if you don't want to write this complex syntax you can make use of hooks as well so the markup will remain the same but here in the at the very top you can declare variables here which is simply all the variables which was a status start recording stop recording and media blob url and all these variables you can get using use react media recorder this is a hook function and here we can pass the video to true or audio to true or screen to true so this is the one line that you need to write and once again an application will work perfectly fine if you click start recording it will start your recording here video recording this is a help using the recording hook function here so here you can just change or video to audio so this is the other way by which you can record uh, achieve the same application by writing few lines of code by using hook function so that is the application guys if you want the full source code you can go to the video description link i have written a complete blog post and i have given the link in the video description uh, let me just show you the blog post that i have written here uh, this is the blog post the link will be there inside video description please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video